safety must be a constant concern when connecting air seeders and planters to tractors. Be careful walking around air seeders, particularly when the equipment is in the transport position, because of the shanks and disc extending out that are obstacles for people walking around the machine. Planter and air seeder grain carts have ladders for operators to use when filling, checking, and cleaning the grain tanks. Be careful climbing up and down the ladders and while moving around the tank. Farmers who apply fertilizer in the same field operation as planting often tow an anhydrous ammonia tank behind air seeders. Towing an anhydrous tank increases the overall length of the equipment and increases the space required to safely move equipment. Always read the safety precautions in the owner's manual before operating the equipment and do not allow anyone to ride on air seeder grain carts. Be sure all safety emblems on the equipment are clean and readable. At least two people need to be involved in the process of hooking air seeders and planters to tractors. One person in the tractor and the other on the ground directing the operation. The person in the tractor must be always aware of the location of the person on the ground and maintain visual contact with that person. Because of the tractor engine noise and sound barriers in tractor cabs, the individual on the ground needs to use hand signals to communicate with the tractor operator. Universal hand signals descriptions are available on the internet by searching for universal hand signals. When the tractor is in position to connect the tractor to the seeder, the tractor engine should be stopped with the brakes engaged to avoid accidental tractor movement while individuals are connecting the equipment to the tractor. All electrical and hydraulic lines between the tractor and equipment should be connected with the engine off. The tractor operator must ensure all individuals are away from the equipment before starting the tractor engine and moving the equipment. The overall length of a tractor towing an air seeder and fertilizer tank can be up to 100 feet, creating significant safety concerns on public highways. In addition to the safety concerns caused by the equipment length, air seeders in transport often exceed 20 feet wide and can be up to 17 feet high. State departments have unique maximum allowable equipment dimensions for transporting on public highways and when escort vehicles are required. North Dakota allows farmers to move any farm equipment 15 feet and 6 inches or less on public highways between sunrise and sunset up to a maximum distance of 60 miles. Above 15 feet 6 inches and beyond 60 miles, annual permits from the North Dakota Highway Patrol Office are required. Separate requirements apply when transporting farm equipment on interstate highway systems. It is important to use adequate size towing vehicles and to install all transport stops on the equipment when moving equipment on public highways. Always use safety chains between the towing vehicle and seater to avoid equipment separating in case the hitch fails. Slow moving vehicle emblems are required when moving farm equipment on public roads at speeds less than 35 miles an hour, which always applies to towing equipment with farm tractors. The emblems must be cleaned before moving onto public roads. Equipment manufacturers generally stipulate the maximum transport speed for each type of equipment in this case, the maximum recommended travel speed is 20 miles an hour. Filling air seeder and planters with seed involves several safety issues. Large air seeder grain carts are normally filled using farm trucks and power augers. One individual should be outside the truck directing movement towards the grain cart. Remember to use hand signals while moving the truck into place to fill the grain tank. The truck driver must always maintain visual contact with the person directing the truck movement. Be sure all safety shields are in place on the filling equipment. Most air seeder grain carts have a loading auger attached. No individuals should be allowed near the auger while it is in operation. Following safety precautions does take a little more time, but being safe is your number one commodity. <laughs>